Well, it's a season of fall fun, right? And what better way to celebrate than a corn maze? We all like that. Oh, yeah, mm. absolutely. Elizabeth Shores is at the Coleman Corn Maze to tell us about the fun they have planned this year. Elizabeth. <laughs> Okay, hi, I'm here at the Coleman Corn Maze with Sarah Coleman, the owner and the coordinator of this event. Uh, Sarah, you said we don't want to eat this corn because this is field corn, but this corn is the sweet corn. The sweet corn is fabulous. So come on out and if you want to get that last um, last bit of sweet corn, it's peaches and cream, it's fabulous. Pick your own sweet corn, which is on just on the other side of the 10 acres of field corn. So added value there. Okay, and that's something people can do after they complete the over the five miles of corn maze, right? Exactly. We've got ten, we've got ten acre maze this year. It's broken to again two mazes A and B. In case you've got littles who can't quite make the whole four plus miles, um, you can do just do maze A. And the corn is really tall, as you can tell. It's um, still green. We planted a little bit later this year, so it's looking good, and it's a challenging course. So we're hoping a lot of people come out and and test their skills, their navigation skills. Right, and uh, if you can't make it to this corn maze, there's one that's exactly like it, same design. Uh, where was that? It's an Emirato up at the Nelson's um, Pumpkin Patch. So we both are using the Be Legendary state brand and logo this year, just trying to encourage people to get out and explore North Dakota this fall. And so she's got the same exact design they have um, at their maze up in north northeast corner of North Dakota. Okay, and if you can't make it out tonight, how long is this event going on for? So we are open Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays now through October 22nd. So Friday nights, um, we're open from 5 to 8, and Saturdays noon to 8, and then noon to 6 on Sundays. But in October, we close at 7 because it's pretty dark by, by 8 o'clock in October. Okay, and you said that next weekend, not this coming one, but the one after is going to be the busiest one because if you come out then, you can also attend Apple Fest, right? It is. Apple Fest is just a great, great family event that happens right across the way at Buckstop Junction. And so we'll have a very, very busy week next, next weekend. You can kind of do both. Okay. And uh, you said that... There might be a competition this year to see who can complete it the fastest. Well, You're not sure. We love to have it when people people time it. Of course, we want them to respect it and stay on the paths. But we do love to when people take a picture of all 12 of the signs, and then they submit their times. And yep, at the end of the year, whoever um, has the best time will we get bragging rights for the weeks because you know every every weekend we'll have a winner. Okay. And you said that the very first group to do last year's took 48 minutes, right? They did. They took 48 minutes. Um, this year, I think it might be even a little bit more challenging. So come on out and test your skills. Okay. And if you have little kids and you're not up for like a challenging course, you said that there's a new event this year. That's the... There is. We've got a bale maze set up. So it's kind of tunnels that kids can go through in the bales. And then there's a fun area that they can play and jump around in the, in the hay. So kids, we found that they just love to do it with the bales that we had set up for decoration. And so we set up a separate area for that this year. Okay, and you said that they could also get their own pumpkin and t-shirt possibly. We've got some pumpkins for sale and then and then um, the, maybe the winner. All right, well, she can't hear us. I don't think she can hear us, but uh, good information. <laughs> that's by right. Sarah, that's for sure. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs>